What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. Today, we're gonna to be continuing on our lessons in PyMavlink and we're gonna be learning how to send the takeoff command to our drone. So what we're gonna be doing is building off of our program from last time, the arm.py program. And now we're gonna be turning this into a takeoff program. So let's go ahead and set up a new uh, program called that takeoff.py. And then we'll just go ahead and copy all the all the code straight from the arm.py program into the Python or into the takeoff program. So now let's go ahead and talk about the takeoff command. So let's go back to the um, Mavlink docs and come back to the command protocol. And then we're going to go to the command long section again. And then we'll look at the Mav commands. And we'll go ahead and scroll down until we find takeoff, which is Mav command nav takeoff. So this, this Mavlink command takes seven parameters, just like all the Mav command messages do. So for the first parameter, it's pitch, but this is only if you're an airplane and have an airspeed sensor. The next parameters, two and three, are empty. Um, and then number four is for the yaw angle and then five and six for latitude and longitude and altitude. So this will be a, go a good time to mention that even though the Mavlink commands are specified uh, in a certain way on the Mavlink documentation, that doesn't mean that the flight stacks have implemented it exactly as the default common commands are specified. So it's always good to try and look at the flight stacks documentation on that command. So if we come to the documentation for the takeoff command um, in RDPilot, we'll notice that it's actually defined exactly the same. But from my testing, I've actually noticed that if you pass in latlon of zero, it will actually use the current latlon of the vehicle. So for simplicity's sake, in our program, we're gonna be passing zero, zero for latlon. Um, this latlon equals zero is also kind of supported by some of the other commands um, that say if zero, zero are passed, it'll use the current latlon. Uh, I think they might've messed up the documentation here uh, just a little bit, but good thing that you can test this in the SIDL and you can figure these kind of things out. So now let's go ahead and go back to our text editor and go ahead and write these commands in. So um, like we had talked about before, we had copied in all of our um, code from the arm command our ARM program, and now we're gonna do a very similar thing um, as the ARM program command, as the ARM command for our takeoff command. So let's go ahead and copy the two lines where we send the command and then receive the acknowledgement. And instead of sending mav command component ARM disarm, we're gonna send mav command takeoff. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the parameters once again. So the pitch, which is plain only. Uh, so that parameter, we're just gonna leave zero. So zero, and then two and three are empty. So that puts us there. Uh, param five is lat, long, is lat, six is lawn. So we'll leave those empty. And then finally, we're just gonna specify the altitude. So the altitude uh, will be uh, in meters and we'll set that to 10 meters. So. So the next thing is we're gonna be listening for the command acknowledge and we could set up a check um, to like exit the program if it fails, if it's if the result isn't equal to zero. Um, but for now, we'll just go ahead and print that out and visually check it. So it looks like uh, our program should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and make sure that our SIDL is ready to go. Looks like we're connected, um, everything's ready. And then now we will go ahead and run the program. And takeoff.py. Oops, spelled that wrong. Python. Mav command, sorry. It looks like I wrote that wrong as well. That is mav command nav takeoff. 
And then we'll run that again. Sorry, I didn't save the program. Run it again. And it looks like um, the first command failed. We got a result four, which again, if we trace that back to the um, command acknowledge, and then look at the map result. We'll notice that uh, the number four corresponds to map result failed. So it's a valid command, but the execution failed. So this is likely because uh, because we are in a mode that's not armable. So in order to fix this, all we have to do is change this mode to guided. And then we can run a program again and it should work. Yep, so we got zero for the arm and zero for the takeoff command. And now you can see on our GCS that the altitude is increasing and it should go to around 33 feet, which is about 10 meters. All right, so this was probably a short video, but uh, now we've addressed how to arm the drone and send the takeoff command. Um, in the next videos, we're going to continue to increase our knowledge of Mavlink and Pi Mavlink. So until then, keep it cool.